One thing that is important to consider when going through a divorce is what your state's laws are regarding maintenance, or in some instances, it's still called alimony. Be mindful of that, and again, when speaking with an attorney, find out what the exact parameters of those things are in your state. There are states where maintenance is strictly defined by statute, and the attorney at the beginning of the case can kind of give you a general idea of what your exposure financially may or may not be as to maintenance. There are some states, Illinois for example, which does have a specific formula, and it also defines the amount of time that the maintenance award can be awarded. And then there are states such as Missouri and others where there are no real parameters. Ultimately, usually, Maintenance or alimony is based on need, so that is the first prong of the analysis. However, there are states where, again, the statutes almost govern the fact of how it's actually calculated and or duration and whatnot. Keep in mind, in some states, you're able to go off statute if you are, in fact, able to agree to terms in a settlement negotiation. And there may be pros or cons as to negotiating a amount of maintenance for a period of time that you might not otherwise get under the statute, but which is fully enforceable and legal. Things to be mindful of are if your state has triggers when maintenance will automatically stop, such as death or remarriage, or something else, potentially cohabitation, or whether or not the maintenance award can be temporary, um, permanent, or just rehabilitative for a certain period of time based on certain qualifications being met by the other party who is receiving maintenance. So again, there are many factors to consider with regard to maintenance, also the taxable implications, if that applies in your state, to the fact that it is usually taxable income to the party receiving the maintenance, and there is some kind of tax credit to the person paying it. If you're looking at a global settlement, again, trying to work something out where it might be potentially a maintenance case, maybe a determining factor in coming up with a global settlement that makes both parties very happy. So be mindful that there are a lot of factors that go into maintenance or alimony, not just potentially the figures, but all of the surrounding and ancillary things that might come into play in order to get you the best maintenance or alimony um, order you possibly can if that is in fact an issue in your case.